with features like automatic lazy focusing, automatic engraving resuming, even after power failure, and an impressive engraving speed of 54,000 mm per minute, the newly launched Acer L2 truly sets the safety apart in the saturated core XY form factor laser engraver market. When the official Acer team contacted me with the L2 prototype, I couldn't contain my excitement to give it a try and share all the exciting details with you. So, let's dive into it. This is what's all included in the box. We have a set of plate components, along with the 24 watts laser module, that also offer 36 watts and 48 watts options to choose from. And here's the interesting part, a nifty air assist that we're talking about in a moment. Plus, there are screws and cables, but enough about those. Let's get to the assembly. First, we connect the plates by aligning them properly and pushing them in. Then we use screws to tighten the plates. Each corner requires four screws. So this might take a little while. Here's a handy tip. Don't tighten them fully at first. Half tightness is sufficient, just in case we need manual adjustments later. Once all four plates are perfectly positioned, we can go ahead and fully tighten them. Now it's as sturdy as a rock. The next step is a little bit tricky and may require some skill. Installing the optical shaft, we pull down the sliding blocks on the y-axis to the bottom, insert the shaft from one end, and let it go all the way into the coupling. To ensure the shaft is fully inserted, we can even push it from the starting port. After that, we securely tighten the shaft. But we're not done yet. While rotating the shaft, we notice another screw hole on the other end and we tighten it in the same way. With that done, as we move one sliding block, the other one moves simultaneously since they are connected through the installed shaft. Now it's time to install the X-axis spin. We place it onto the sliding box, open the cover, and tighten both ends. Next, let's connect the cables, one for the laser module and the other for the X-axis. Once connected, we carefully place them in the slot, close the top cover, and secure it with the screws. Oh, and don't forget to attach the side covers. They give your machine a nice look. On the left side, where there is an air pipe, make sure to let it pass through the hole in the cover. Moving on to the next step, installing the limit switch. We align it with the two holes, as I've shown in the video, and tighten it. It's not too much of a hassle. After attaching the laser head to the X-axis spin, the rest is easy. All you need to do is connect. We connect the cables, and yes, there are a few cables for that. Oh, by the way, don't forget to connect the air assist to the laser module through the pipe and then connect it to the laser engraver. And then we connect the screen using HDMI cable. This is a 4.3 inch touch screen that can be conveniently attached to the side magnetically. This touch screen is a helpful accessory and we'll talk more about it in a moment. And voila, that completes the assembly steps. Simply follow the instructions I've listed above and you breeze through it. I won't lie, it took me about 20 minutes to assemble, which is pretty normal for a Core XY laser engraver, especially considering the multitude of unique features that Acer offers that others do not. Besides, this is a one-time process. Once you've assembled, just leave it there for future use without any worries. Speaking of that, let's dive right in and start using it. First, connect the machine to the power source, insert the physical key to unlock it and press the power button to turn it on. Watch as the screen lights up with anticipation. Now you can place the material you want to engrave or cut under the laser head. If you're cutting something, make sure to have a trusty metal plate between the material and the desk. Just take a look at the dent we left there. As expected, the AZL2 supports popular software like Lightburn and Laser GRBL. That's just one of the three ways it supports the other two are the phone app and offline engraving. The official editing mentioned that the phone app is currently under development and will be available in the near future. As for offline engraving, we'll discuss that when we get to the touch screen. Patience, my friends. Speaking of Lightburn, I won't dive into every single detail since there are countless tutorials out there. Just watch a few, make a couple tricks, and learn the ropes. And you will be able to achieve basic engraving in no time. Before we finally get into the engraving test, you might be wondering about how to focus for this Acer L2. Well, I have to mention this 
Out of works feature as I haven't seen this on any other laser engravers I've tested before. Regarding how to set out of focus in Lightburn, although they provide a detailed tutorial in the menu, I'll still guide you through the process. First, we select a macro key, rename it to out of focus, and enter the command brackets ESP500 in the contents. Once confirmed, we can simply click on water focus, and the machine will take care of the focusing automatically. The laser module will initially bounce up and down to calibrate, then determine whether to move up or down based on the height of your engraving material. Once the sensor touches the surface of the material, it will confirm the focus twice and then move to the perfect height for engraving or cutting. It's fascinating to watch the water focus feature in action as it handles the focusing process itself. Please note that the autofocus travel distance is 40 mm, so if your material is beyond this range, you may still need to manually adjust the focus. However, in my test, it handled almost all engraving scenarios. Just in case you prefer or need to do manual adjustments, the offer a fixed focus block. Simply place it on the surface of your object, let the laser head touch it, and then remove the block. This is a common method for manual focus adjustment. Now that we've covered the basics of the ADL2, you may be aware that it's a well-polished laser engraver with some cool features. But how does it perform in the real world? Well, I've conducted several tests on wood, which I believe is probably the most common material for anyone. The results are simply fantastic. With the precision of 0.01 mm, the engraved pictures look amazing, retaining many intricate details, Take a look at the edges. They are incredibly smooth without any waviness. I even tried engraving a QR code on 304 stainless steel. Can you guess why this too? Yes, it's my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Although my time with this unit was limited, I believe that with more time to fine-tune the parameters in Lightburn, you can achieve even finer results on various materials. But personally, I believe the greatest performance of HL2 lies in its cutting ability. I took a 20mm piece of wood and cut it four times and managed to handle it effortlessly. From my experience, such a powerful laser can cut up to 50mm of wood in just one pass. So you can imagine that any small DIY cutting task would be a breeze for the L2. Remember the air assist I mentioned earlier? It vigorously blows away the smoke as the engraver cuts. Just look at the smoke coming out from the side. Impressive, right? This feature ensures a clean cutting surface. Take a look for yourself. But that's not even the key feature I'm talking about when it comes to cutting. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but as it cuts, the laser head automatically sinks, providing more efficient and precise cutting compared to many others without this feature. It always maintains a constant distance between the cutting surface. How cool is that? Speaking of surprises, this is one of the standard features of AZL2. It offers a range of unique features that I haven't seen in other laser engravers. Suddenly apart from the crowd. Let's talk about engraving resuming after power loss. To utilize this feature, you need to copy the files to a USB and connect it to the laser engraver. We click Start Engraving and then disconnect the power. As you can see, the engraving process stops. Now let's take a close look at the engraving we just paused. We can check if there are any breakpoints in the final engraving. After reconnecting the power, we click OK on the screen to resume the engraving. It automatically returns to the point where it left off. And here are the result. Pretty impressive, right? The engraving is seamless, and we can even find the break point. This feature deserves a big thumbs up. Another feature I have to mention is the offline printing, which is perfect for bulk engraving. You don't need to connect to a laptop or a phone app. While this is not a new concept, it's much easier to use with the 4.3 inch touch screen. Speaking of that, let me give you a full walkthrough of what you'll find on the screen. On the home page, you'll see the engrave and the settings interfaces. Clicking on settings allows you to choose different languages and select different mouse. There are also safety options like tear detection, which beeps to warn you if the machine tears over 15 degrees. 
and flame detection. A great safety feature. Additionally, you'll find settings we discussed before, such as autofocus and resume engraving. The third page provides information about the machine, including firmware details. Moving to the engraving interface, you'll find a list of engraving files that you've copied to a USB drive. All the files will be displayed on this screen. That is the basic functionality of the screen. The official edge mentioned that they might make changes to the user interface for the official release, so keep that in mind. With this convenient screen, everything becomes much easier to operate. Having such a large screen is not common for these engravers, right? So when you want to engrave, simply click on the file you want and you're good to go. Now let's talk about some other features the Acer L2 offers. It includes LED laser energy display, which features several LED indicators on the laser head. When the laser is at its full power, the color turns red. The cross-position autofocus is another great feature. It marks the starting point of your engravings, so you always know where it is. Lastly, the AZL2 comes with a rotary extension, allowing you to engrave cylindrical objects and some round items like rings. Now, let me conclude my thoughts. After several days of testing, I can confidently say that the AZL2 is an excellent investment for anyone in need of a reliable and precise laser engraver. It offers advanced features such as autofocus, auto engraving resuming, and the standard feature of auto Z axis syncing during cutting, which ensures exceptional precision and performance. Whether you have a home business or enjoy DIY projects, this machine will meet your needs without any problem. The competitive price of 1299 US dollars on as a facial set makes it even more appealing. Considering that a regular 20 watts laser engraver will cost a similar amount. So it's definitely a major recommendation, especially when you consider its unique features. Now let me share a little story with you. Acer actually reached out to me about a month ago with an even earlier prototype, which was still in the early stages of development, as you can see from the unfinished frames. We spent a whole day testing in my studio, but there are some functions that they claimed didn't work properly. So I said I couldn't do a review video until I saw a more refined version. And you know what? After just two or three weeks, they came back with a much more polished and refined machine, with almost everything working perfectly. I truly appreciate the effort and the hard work put into developing this product by the dedicated team behind it. I'm always supporting brands with innovative ideas that actually deliver on the promises. So if you are interested in supporting them, you can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'm Sammy. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.